Is this disturbing? Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're all better looking, so I'm going last. <laughs> okay, I start in the name of God, the most beneficent and the most merciful. Greet all of you with the Islamic greeting of Assalamu Alaikum. Peace of God be upon all of you. First and foremost, we thank the Creator for getting us here together as brothers and sisters. Secondly, we also want to thank all of you as leaders, and especially I came to support my dear friend and activist and leader, Brother Muhammad Murtuja. Now he told me to come and give like a speech of unity and leadership. What are some of the leadership qualities that we can inculcate so we can have peaceful, proactive impact on our families, as you said, and to all of humanity? First and foremost, uh, Having credibility in the society is the most important thing because you can have the best ideas in the world. You can have the best team in the world, the best tools in the world. But if a person does not have credibility, everyone is going to run away from you. So for that reason, every prophet, every messenger, may that be Noah, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad, all of them, they were the most credible people in the society. So one of the ways that we can have impact is to become credible individuals. Second important lesson that we can learn from these mighty messengers is that we have to have good communication skills. You know, you can have the best message, but if you cannot package is good, it's not going to have the impact. For that reason, there is a saying of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and this is a reminder to all of us. He said, say something good or remain silent. I, I always say that how many marriages can be saved if we apply that, right? And I say that how many meetings that we run can be more effective if we apply that? How many wars could be saved if we apply that? So say something good or remain silent. The third of the five important attributes would be, the third one is always make decisions based upon justice. You know, you have a copy of the Quran over here. In the Quran, chapter number 4, verse number 135, God is addressing and God is saying that all oh, you who believe, stand up firmly for justice. Even if the justice goes against you, your parents, your loved ones, the rich, the poor, God is saying that no matter what decision that you're making, always make the decision and on the side of justice. So running our meetings, this meeting, our families, all the board meetings, if we apply that, we'll have really effective meetings. Number fourth would be, you know, this is important, especially for Murtaja. When I see him in all the parties, all the functions, all the events, just like you, Brother Fahim, it's important for us as leaders to balance our uh, work with our families. You know, Muhammad, peace be upon him, just like Jesus, Moses, Abraham, they were the busiest people in all of history. But then they still used to give time, quality time to their families. So that's a reminder to you, to me, and for all of us. And last but not the least, it's one of my favorites. And this is to see every single human as equals. No matter what race, no matter what gender, no matter what culture, nationality that they belong to, we need to take, uh, take them equal in the eyes of God. So let me end with this passage from the Quran. This is in chapter 49, verse number 13, in which God is addressing all of us and God is saying, that, O mankind, O humanity, I have created you from one single male and one single female, one single male and one single female, and made you into nations and peoples and tribes that you get to know each other. Not that you may hate and despite and discriminate with each other. God is saying that he made us different so many ways that we get to know each other. Then God is saying that the best amongst you is the one who is a well-mannered, God-fearing and pious person. So I hope and pray that all the leaders over here and all the leaders here, that may God keep on guiding us, may God keep on blessing us, so all of us together as brothers and sisters, we can establish societies based upon morality, based upon justice, and based upon loving peace for all. Congratulations and thank you very much.